Okay, let's try the practice of part number three of the use of English. Surprisingly or unsurprisingly, the first step is to cover up the story and to ignore it. The next step is to read the words and to write down the first alternate form of it that comes to mind when we read it. So, for example, steady. For me, the first one is unsteadily. Okay? Here is my list of words. And as you can see, one of them, nothing came to my mind. That's not a problem and you shouldn't worry if the same thing happens to you. Keep on going. The important, the important part is the spontaneity of the words that are coming out for you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this list of words and we're going to check and see if they fit into the text. One of the things that we really need to be careful with is with the number and with negative and positive forms of the words. Many times, students will get the correct form of the word, but they'll make a mistake in plural and singular or positive or negative. Let's start reading. The Warrumbungle National Park is unsteadily increasing in. Does that sound correct? No, it would sound better to say steadily. The Warrumbungle National Park is steadily increasing in Popularity with visitors in Australia. Correct. Walking, camping, and rock climbing are the favorite leisure time occupation. No, occupations. Are the favorite leisure time occupations in this area. But the landscape and the wildlife, which are extraordinarily varied. Correct. Also attract photography and naturalists. That would be photographers. Throughout the different seasons of the year, visitors share the park with hundreds of native animals such as kangaroos and koalas. The wonderful scenic scenery in the Warren Bummel National Park is the result of powerful, yes, volcanic activity over a massive area. This produced the many spectacular rock formations, and numerous lakes visible today. And also the rich soil which enables the abundant vegetable vegetation to grow and flourish. Walking tracks in the park are clearly marked and visible visitors are encouraged, encouraged to keep to these. Many of the walks can be done by children and some are unsuitable for push, push chairs and wheelchairs or suitable. This would be suitable. A relatively easy, easy but highly rewarding walk is the five kilometer trek to Split Rock, where visitors may be lucky enough to see eagles flying overhead. More energetic, correct, walkers can try a more demanding 15 kilometer walk. Now, if you look at here, and uh, this was correct, we forgot the S here, but it was correct. This was correct. We had to change this term, this termination. We had to change this uh, suffix. And uh, this was correct. This was correct. This was correct. This we had to get that off, and that was correct. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and you could say seven correct answers without ever having read the text. Let's actually see if they are correct or not and check our answers with the answers in the workbook. Okay, in the upper part of the screen we have the answers that we just arrived at. And here we have the answers from our answer booklet, which are the answers from uh, Cambridge. 25, popularity, correct. 26, occupations, correct. 27, extraordinarily, correct. 28, photographers, correct. Uh, scenery, 29, correct. 30, powerful, correct. 31, spectacular, correct. 32, encouraged, correct. 33, 
suitable, correct, and 34, energetic, correct. Okay, that's basically how to do this part of the exam. It's really not that difficult, and if you find that you're having trouble uh, with it, when you have an answer which is not correct, look at the prefix and the suffix and use the information at the end of your work booklet to find out what, how that prefix and that suffix works. I hope that you found this instructive.